embryos escape from danger. We studied this with red-eyed tree frogs. These frogs lay their eggs on plants over tropical ponds, where many of them are attacked by snakes. The embryos can hatch themselves rapidly and prematurely to escape, but how do they do it? We used high-speed video to take a close look at the hatching process. Most embryos performed a distinctive shaking just before the membrane ruptured. Some did not touch the membrane with their snout while shaking, and some also gaped open their mouths. Moments later, we saw a leak form just in front of the embryo's snout. We hypothesized that embryos made a hole in the membrane by releasing enzymes from their snout. To test this, we stimulated embryos to hatch, after which they began shaking. We allowed them to shake for several seconds before rotating them so that their snout faced a new location on the membrane. We observed that the rupture still formed at the original location of the embryo's snout, as evidenced by leaking of fluid. We then used scanning electron microscopy to look for hatching glands and found them densely concentrated on the snout. They are large cells that appear recessed among the epithelial cells and they have short microvilli. In cross-section, they are full of secretory vesicles just prior to hatching and mostly emptied of their contents just seconds after hatching. This rapid, highly localized enzyme release allows red-eye tree frog embryos to hatch at a moment's notice across a broad developmental period. This is much faster than the hatching mechanism that's been described in other frogs, and it's a critical part of a highly effective embryo self-defense mechanism.